Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to cover how we can set up an ODBC connection and create a linked data source from Microsoft Access to Microsoft SQL Server. There are two, two ways to do so. The first and easiest way is to just click on the start menu and then Microsoft Access. When the Microsoft Access opened up for you, then um, click on the blank database, create a new one, and then external data tab. ODBC database and then select the link to the data source by creating a link table. Hit OK. On the next page, go to the second tab again and then hit new. User data source is fine. Hit next. Scroll down the list and you have to find the SQL Server native client 11. And you have to make sure that you have this option already installed on your machine. If you don't have that one installed on your machine, please <clears throat> go and search for this phrase and the first link is going to navigate you to the downloading package from the Microsoft website. Based on your operation system, download the best package for yourself and then install it on your machine. After the installation is completed, then get back to here and then resume the um, creating of your ODBC connection. Hit next. Uh, I'm sorry. Hit next in this step, and then hit finish. Here you have to give a name to your uh, ODBC connection. ODBC con. In my case, give it the description. <laughs> And then you have to select the SQL Server that you want to access to that. So in my case, the SQL Server name is going to be this guy. Hit next. And then hit next. Here you have to select the database that you want to work with. In my case, it would be Impact DBA. Hit next. Here you have to select the Um, configuration if you need to change it in my case it's not very necessary just I'm gonna uncheck all the checkboxes here and then finish um, test the data source connectivity to the SQL server the test returns successful message and hit OK hit OK and now in this page you can see the list of all the tables inside the database that you already selected. You can <coughs> press control key, hold it, and then select the tables that you want access to. And for example, I'm selecting these tables and then hit OK. You can see all the tables that I have already selected. They are just added under the tables panel for me and by just selecting and double clicking on each one the data will be fetched from the SQL Server and populated into the Microsoft Access for yourself. So um, this is the easiest way that you can uh, create your uh, ODBC connection and if you need to just add more tables just you have to go to the ODBC database and then select this option here and then you have to find the data source that you already created for yourself. In my case, for example, ODBC con. And then again, you have to, for example, go and add more tables that you want to work with. For example, this one. And then you can see this table easily added under your tables. Okay, hope you found this tutorial helpful to you. See you next time.